Hello. I want to thank you for clicking on my channel. I am PI187. And it's been probably a couple weeks since I've watched any Carl Pinkleton, an idiot abroad. So, it's a good time to do that. So, the last one was Dolphin Swim. Where he didn't swim with the dolphins, he swam with the sharks instead. Because Ricky tricked him. So, this one is called Whale Watching. So, it's not going to be probably a whole lot different than maybe the last one. I don't know. I don't know where he's doing the whale watching either. He might be doing it in the same spot or, or different. So, anywho, I guess let's just get into this. The Bucket List. See the glaciers before they melt. Go on an African safari. Encounter the world's largest mammal. The ultimate things to do before you die. Or are they? If I was on my deathbed, there's no way I'd want to be climbing Kilimanjaro. It's not things to do a few <laughs> minutes before you die. It's things to do in your life. Easy, boys. Easy, boys. It's difficult. He was so suspicious after the last time. Uh, oh, God, Jesus. We've told him that he gets to choose from the list whatever he wants to do. This is doing me adding. But that doesn't mean that there won't be a few treats in store that he's not expecting. Fucking hell. This is a man who's reluctant. This is a man who doesn't want to do these things. Uh, no. Let it happen. No. It's making Carl do things that other people want to do before they die. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. This isn't his list. <laughs> Flying a fighter jet. Um, forget that. Not interested. Climbing a bridge. Forget that. Uh, Dead Sea, been there. What are you choosing, Carl? Uh, whale watching. Okay, good choice. Why? Mm. Just whales, they're, they're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Biggest sort of thing. Um, Their tongue is as big as an elephant. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? It'd be weird if it had a human one. Human size, if you said it's that big and yet its tongue is human sized, I'd still <laughs> want to see it. So, we'll send you to Alaska. <laughs> Did he take that wrong? I think Carl took that wrong. As in, he thinks the whale has a tongue the size of an elephant's tongue. Instead of the size of a human's tongue. But I think what Ricky was saying was... The tongue's the size of an elephant. <laughs> Oh, fucking Carl. Alaska to whale watch. Would you be interested in spending time with some Eskimos? Or Inuits now. Uh, you don't say Eskimo. It's a <laughs> derogatory term. <laughs> come up with that. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. Fucking every fucking five years, we got to change everybody's fucking name so we can stop being mean to them. Isn't that just ridiculous? A little problem for them. <laughs> I've never heard an Eskimo moan about that. <laughs> I don't think they really have. I think it's just fucking woke people fucking looking for something to whine about. Oh, we shouldn't be calling these people this because that's what we've been calling them for 100 years. And eh, it's not right. So let's call, let's make up a new name for them. And we'll call them this for the next 100 years. And then eventually we'll say this is wrong too. Like, wow, what the fuck? Why are they going to be bothered? These people make up little rules. You can't call a midget a midget. They prefer dwarf. And all that. Es yeah, we've been hearing a lot about that lately with the Snow White, haven't we? Yeah, can't can't hire any dwarfs to play dwarfs either, by the sounds of it. Eskimos, what'll be that? Leprechauns don't like it. No, what? leprechauns <laughs> don't exist. No, but, but it's on the same line. Do not exist. It's the same thing, though. If they did, they go. Don't call them that. They what do the leprechauns it. prefer to be called? Gnomes, <laughs> or there's something. <laughs> there's something. Prefer to be called gnomes. So confused. Oh, God! I'm just saying, it's never the person who it is who's getting offended. It's a He's 100% right. And here they play off fucking Carl as a fucking idiot all the time. 
And he's not. He just says things how they are, and people just don't like, like, it's a little different, but he's spot on. Spot on on so much shit he fucking says, it's not even fucking funny. Like this, 100% spot on. It is always someone else complaining about what you're being, they're being called. He's come up with that little problem for them. I've never heard an Eskimo moan about that. Why are they going to be bothered? These people make up little rules. You can't call a midget a midget, the preferred dwarf. And all that, Eskimos, what'll be that? Leprechauns don't like it. No, what? leprechauns <laughs> don't exist. No, but... and this shows, I, I, I found out not too long ago, it's fairly old. You just imagine what he'd be saying now. This is back then and you couldn't say shit. You can't fucking say nothing anymore. Everything's fucking hurt somebody's feelings. Oh, but it's on the same line. Do not exist. It's the same thing though. If they did, they go, don't call them that. They what do the leprechauns prefer to be called? Gnomes or... <laughs> there, there's something... <laughs> leprechauns something... prefer to be called gnomes! So confused. Oh, God! I'm just saying, it's never the person who it is who's getting offended. It's always someone else. Right. Whale watching, yeah? Good. Right. I think I moaned a lot last time. When I saw it back, I was like, oh, God, I'm moaning. I think it's the heat. When you think about it, the countries that are always at war and kicking off, it's always the hot ones. It's because you get agitated. But I've never heard about an Eskimo kicking off. It's like they're just cool. I think the cold is going to be tricky, but I'll, I'll handle it. I've got a special coat. I mean, it's not that great visually, to be honest. If there is a whale, I'll probably miss it. Because it's... I mean, look, look at that. How are you feeling? A little bit jet-lagged. Uh, it's a little bit nippy. But I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to it. You know, the, the whale thing is what I'm here for, isn't it? Hello, mate, Steve here. Um, look, Ricky and I were talking, and um, we thought it'd be a bit of a shame if you didn't take in some of the local well, culture and uh, visit the Arctic Circle on your way to see the whales. I know how much you enjoy a good walk, so we've arranged for a nice chat to take you um, via the scenic route. All right? Okay, safe travels. Bye. Well, it's meant to be global warming. Ice is melting and all that. There's loads of it. Hello. Marty. Yes, Marty Rainey. How are you doing? Well, you must be Carl. I am, yeah. So have you been shopping? Well, I brought some things for you back there. One of these sleds is me. Your pack is on there, the same pack as I, that I have on. Let's feel the weight of that. Um... Where are we going? Do we honestly need this? I think you're carrying a lot of extra... No, we need that. This is very serious business. Just this seems a bit like a lot of work to do just for hmm. a walk. OK, stop and listen. <laughs> oh, I've noticed that when I was waiting like, for you. I, I, like, I noticed it's lovely and quiet. I love peace and quiet. You like the silence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I it's like It's like that. spiritual. But that's what I was going to say. It's lovely and quiet here. Is it much quieter up there? Oh, no. Hey. You bastard. Why didn't he bring him some snowshoes? I want to make this difficult for him, because obviously he needs some snowshoes. Hey, partner, you all right? I don't understand that you're doing it. Carl, this is called... Are, Are you OK? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You want to take a break? I'm not going to let it beat me. I like a walk, honestly. At home, I'm always walking. It's just relaxing. But you can't do that here. It's just, it's just really hard work. Five foot snow shouldn't be being walked in. Just get <laughs> up and keep rolling. You can do it. Yeah. Use your poles. You, use your on, poles. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Oh, you fucking bastard. Fucking. Surely it's good to keep your energy in case you need it. If a polar bear comes around the corner, you've got to wrestle it. You've got no energy because you've been wading through five foot snow. You okay? Oh, fucking. <laughs> I don't think you're going to wrestle that fucking polar bear even if you're fucking uh, top peak performance. Just woke up from a fucking 24-hour nap with some steroids in your system. That polar bear is still gonna fucking rip your fucking torso in half. You know, 
Hang on a minute. I kept saying, do we have to go through this five foot of snow? He's going, yeah, you'll love it. It's a good life lesson or whatever. Are you all right? Yeah, it's just flipped over. It's never going to come in handy, that. Because I know if it was like that at home, you'd go, right, let's stay in. Columbo box set. In for the day. Oh! What? What happened? The sleigh thing's tipped over. Do you want help? No, no, it's all right. <laughs> I can sure. do this. Uh... Carl. <laughs> I'll come back and help. No, don't be coming back. Those are my skis. Don't lose them. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> you okay, bud? Yeah, I've sorted it. Uh, you all right? Yeah. What? You're using a lot of my breath up. You keep saying you're all right. I've got to say, yeah. Then I'm using my breath up. Okay. This guy's sitting there thinking, oh, they sent me a girly man. <laughs> Can't handle this shit. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking lunatic. <laughs> what a lunatic. Uh... Can you drink this? Yes. It's clean. There's no cleaner snow in the world. Is that okay? Yeah. I was dying of thirst. Have you got any water, Marty? No, we haven't got room for it. It weighs stuff. Well, hang on a minute. I'm carrying a spade here that we're not using. Okay, I just I think, need it. I think water's more useful than walking around with a shovel. And when do you use that? I was in five foot snow. Can I get the shovel? No, you don't need it yet. When, at what point, how deep does something have to be before you go get the shovel out? I'm just worried, because I'm going in Marty's footsteps, so if he's been on dog shit. Let's roll. Well, what are we doing? Are we doing a bit of skiing? I'm worried about that. At the end of the day, it's like going on a slide. But if you do that as a grown man, people go, look at that knobhead on a slide. It's a grown man, what's he doing on a slide? Oh, I don't see this going well for Carl. I wonder if he's skied before. But for me, it's the same. Let's see if you've got skis on. Follow me. You coming? Yeah, I'm Hold coming. <laughs> Come on, keep your legs together. Fucking okay, hell, grow up. Stop messing about on hills. Okay, and then you go up, you go up a hill sideways. It's hard with a sled and a pack, I know. You know I've never skied. Well, I didn't know that, but now yeah, I'm learning. He doesn't ski. Mm. I had the eagle. I was wondering about that. An Olympic fella. Concentrate, nice and perfect. Skis together, awesome. Awesome. I remember the first time I skied, grade four. So, downhill skiing. I cross country skied before when I was younger, and I remember the school saying, "Oh, have you ever skied before?" And stupid me, "Oh yeah, yeah, I've skied before," thinking you know it's all the same shit. And then we get to the hill where we went skiing for the school trip, and they get me to the top of the hill, and I fucking froze. I could not go down. They had to carry me down. Then I had to spend like an hour learning the bunny hop. Now. Not re um, I picked it up extremely fast. Like, I'd say within an hour of uh, doing the little training thing, I was going down the worst fucking hill at the entire park. Just nuts. Um, I, I really liked it. I really liked it. I've never um, snowboarded, but I have skied. I think two times. Once in grade four and once in grade nine. Yeah, very fun to do. Um, I think Carl might enjoy this if he doesn't wipe out a whole shit ton. Up a hill sideways. It's hard with a sled and a pack, I know. Yeah. You know I've never skied. Well, I didn't know that, but now we're learning. <laughs> I mean, even an eagle struggled, didn't he? And he was an Olympic fella. Concentrate, nice and perfect. Skis together, awesome. Awesome. We should stop saying that. That's annoying me. Everything's <laughs> awesome. I've got no sort of point as to judge things by anymore. Where are you going? Follow me. We had a burger. It's awesome. Well, it's a burger. Let's calm down. Say it's all right. It's nice. It's a good burger. He raves about everything. Don't panic. You're good. You're good. Awesome. Yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's not easy. Uh... We're over a mile away from where we're spending the night, and we will be getting back when it's dark, so we have to be uh, focused. I am. 
Awesome. So they spend the night out there? That's gonna be fucking wild. Poor Carl. It's all downhill! Woo! <laughs> dead right there. Since I got off the plane, it's been downhill. <laughs> What's the toilet situation here? There is oh, no they toilet. actually got a cabin. <laughs> but, but there is, there's a room for it. You've, got, you've gone to the trouble of yeah. having the room. Well, All that's not just for changing or privacy. We're in the middle of nowhere. Well, you don't need privacy. Okay, yeah. number one, you can just do over yeah, there. Yeah, it's not a problem. Okay, number two, you make yourself a a nice a nice wedged toilet paper, if you will. And I'm not joking. You are. That's gonna be cold. You know, in all my years of living in Canada, I don't ever remember wiping my ass with snow. And I used to have a hunting camp. We still brought toilet paper. Didn't have plumbing, it was a giant hole in the ground with a porta potty type thing, like an outhouse. But, uh, yeah, we still had a bathroom, but never ever considered wiping my ass with snow. Holy shit, that would be cold. Kidding. I'm not joking. You can have this one. Ha, Hang you on, can have really? this one. Going on about I made this for you. Keep your gloves on. I mean, you've just told me to wipe your ass with a chalk ice, basically. Hmm. And hang on a minute, I've just remembered, you had me eating it over there. You said, yeah, the cleanest snow in the world. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Man, it's so cold, I can't even play. I wrote uh. this song, you ready? It goes like this. I really caribou you. <laughs> I'm a loon when you're a whale. It's hard for me to bear, because I love you so dear. I really caribou you. <laughs> you're salmon, special to me. Might be a pretty nice ages. campground. You can leave the door open if you want, because it makes no difference. It's freezing. Never known a night like it. I haven't slept, really. Looks cosy in here. That's the problem. I hate that, because that's what I mean. People at home will be going, looks lovely, that. It's the sort of thing you see in Switzerland. Nice sort of log cottage. It's not. There's no insulation whatsoever. It's a shed, really, which, which are fine. When it could have been a fucking tent, Carl. I'd be thankful, because I thought you were going to be sleeping in a fucking tent in a hole in the ground, to be honest. And they're at home, and you're just growing tomatoes in it or something. But when you try to sleep in it, you've got a heater there that doesn't work. Pointless, that. Doesn't do anything. You've got a vac in the corner. Of all the things you need in here, heating is essential. Unless they sort of think, vac up, you warm up. It's freezing. How much dirt you really gonna get on the floor in there if everything's snow outside? You wouldn't uh you wouldn't really think you'd need a vacuum much. He is onto something there. Doing all this, getting all dressed up like this, and you're thinking, oh he's out on the on the road again, he's getting out in the thick of it. No, nope, he's going to the bathroom. I'm coming out, I'll brush my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Hi mate. How's it going? Uh it's fucking freezing. <laughs> Is it? Well, I, I I looked at the weather forecast where you are, and it said it was only like minus three, minus two. Right. Well, what, what do you mean, though? If that if that's the temperature at home, you'd be going, oh, nippy today, innit? You certainly wouldn't go for a walk. I was out in it yesterday for about nine hours, having a wander through five foot well, snow. It's lovely here. It's about sixty degrees here. We just walked from the Hampstead to uh, Highgate. We just wandered around. Gonna get a cappuccino. Gonna rub that in. Spring has really come to, uh, it's only 16 now. degrees. Do you know, here. like normally you wake up and it's like, oh, well, I, I, I need a wee or I need to get a drink. Yeah. I'm thirsty. I got up at about two o'clock because I needed to put my hat on. <laughs> so that's that's where it's like it. It's not relaxing. That's meant to be like the little relaxing bit. Listen, stop complaining because um, I've arranged for you to go and finally meet some Eskimos. Uh, and it's in a little town called Barrow, which is the most northerly point in Alaska. And I've arranged a little ice road trucker to take you there. All right, see you later. See you later. 
just snow and ice and uh, an Eskimo village. Yeah. There's just not a whole lot there. For a place to live, I'd call it the armpit of the universe. <laughs> it's not bad. It'd be way on my bottom of the list of where I'd want to live. <laughs> it's funny because the town next to my town we call the armpit of uh, armpit of Canada. So I'm not gonna say where it's at, but it's been called that a bunch. And then the people up there at Barrow, they're out there on their hunting trips and stuff. They got polar bears to contend with. They could be sleeping in their ice shelter there, and a polar bear come along and just all of a sudden start digging them out. Digging what out? Digging them out of their shelter. People? Yeah. Anything up there that moves or smells is food to a polar bear. Anything. They'd actually dig you out? They will, if you're in a shelter, yeah, they'll dig you right out of there. Well, probably that's why not many people stay in igloos now, isn't it? I mean, that's like a fridge. Yeah. With food. It's, it's, like a fridge, it? it's like a fridge with food, that's it. It'll be a, a life-changing experience, Point Barrel. Well, say, like, if you if you were allowed to pick off this bucket list, what would you pick? You could do anything. Oh. You could see anything, eat anything. Maybe go to Australia or, you know, travel around the world a bit, but it sure wouldn't be Point Barrel. Ha, 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 <laughs> oh, hmm. I'd best go and see these Eskimos then, aren't I? It's a very foot in the washing out, is it? Early. He's sitting in that door. Rosabelle, how are you doing? Good morning. Your name? Carl. 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 Oh. Kunan. Yeah. yeah. Kunan. Janie. Welcome Janie. Welcome to yeah. top of the world. Yeah, yeah. no, that's... Yeah. yeah, you can't get any more on top, can you? Right on the top. Right. Freezing. Heat's <laughs> meant to rise. Uh-huh. Doesn't hear. <laughs> <Okay>. Freezing. <laughs> well, take your shoes off. Uh, come here and yappa. If you want to. Only yeah. if you want to. Yeah. What's your reason to come to Barrow, Alaska? To see a whale. Oh, goodness. Big whale. I, I just want to see one. Just Would see you like one. to see Maktuk? Maktuk. 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 Chok. Maktuk. Oh, Are you hungry? A little bit peckish. Is this like the, 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 the Eskimo version of Golden Girls? What's going yeah. on? The outer <laughs> laying of a bowhead whale. <laughs> That's whale. Yeah, it is whale. Have a look. Bowhead whale. We eat it fresh or eat it frozen. It's just that when I said I came here to see whale, I meant swimming, not in a carrier bag. I'll have just a small, a small oh, yeah, piece. Oh, yeah, sure. Normally, if I have meat, it's cooked, it's warm. They're having, like, just taking stuff out of a freezer and sucking on it. Like a little, little buffet, them, to that. Just open the fridge, suck on some processed peas and a bit of meat. Everything's like having an ice pop here. It has a fishy taste. Yeah, fishy it's smell. Very delicious. You can even... How is it? Can you have that? I gotta admit, Carl's damn good sport. Everywhere he goes, he eats the damn food. I don't think I could do that. Aria, is it good? Oh, true, isn't it? Okay, here. That's caribou frozen. We eat it frozen. Mm. Why? Why do you have an oven? You have an oven, but everything's cold. I don't play. Hey, what's up with <laughs> her now? What's happened? <laughs> I saw that they were old. I thought, great, you know. I can just sit down, they'll probably nod off after a bit, all the excitement of having a visitor. And uh, she said, no, I've got, I've got plans, I'm going to take you out. And I was thinking, maybe bingo or something like that with her age, or a bit of shopping, <laughs> or just bingo. something that old people do. It's nice! The what? The weather! Feet are freezing. Yeah! Yeah. But it's OK! Not really. <laughs> She's got one of them snow bikes. She says, come on, we're going, I'm going to take you to Point Barrow. All right, no helmet or anything. I'm thinking, Jesus, look at her. She's got these bifocals on. She shouldn't really be on the road. Do you have to have a licence for one of these? What? I said, do you have to have a licence to 
drive one of these. She's come to hear me, I was trying to talk to her. If I need to have a wee... What's that? Are there toilets? Yelling on this side, that side, trying to get through to her ears. Are there toilets at Point Barrow? <laughs> her eyes are knackered, her ears are crap. She was in charge of the bike. <laughs> She's giving me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> she kept saying, oh, it's going to be so great, you know, when we get to Point Barrow. I don't know what it is, I've never heard of it. Yay! Point Barrow! This is it. This is it. What? Th is this it? Yeah. Well, there's no else here. Beautiful around here. Beautiful? Yeah, it's nice. It's the same as where we were. What's that? I said it's the same as where we were. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Point Barrow. Barrow? Point Barrow. Yay! That's it. Yeah. It's the northernmost point in the whole wide world. Oh, wow. Right here. All oh, this is ice. Yeah. Wow. When you come here, what do you do? Get my thermos, but I didn't bring one. You didn't bring what? Thermos bottle. Did you did you say you bring some tea? No, I thought there'd be something here. I thought they'd have a coffee. Coffee, tea, Oh, yeah, cake. I didn't bring any. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> I know that saying, you're on top of the world, means you're over the moon, you're happy. Well, I am. It's freezing. I've got a snotty nose and my feet are going numb. Sure, I've got frostbite. I just thought there'd be more to it, that's all. That was pretty cool, though. I've no seen pun a lot intended. Of wild bones knocking about everywhere you look. Oh, wow. They're just dotted around big, massive whale bones. I mean, that's the problem with eating whale when you think about it. It's not like a chicken where you can just give the bones to a cat or stick it in the bin. You got a big, massive bone about the size of a Ford Fiesta. <laughs> Everyone knows what you've had for your tea. It's out in the garden. Big, massive bone. Can't get shut up. Can you hear me? Yeah. Do you know where we are? I'm like a, 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 a glassy mint. I'm stood on top of an ice cube. Complaining that it's a bit cold. You complain you're in the middle of nowhere. But I don't understand. You chose this trip. What did you think it was going to be like? Because I thought I was going to see a whale. And when I've seen a whale on the telly, it's normally a nice calm ocean with the fin sticking out the top, his hole in its head blurting some water out, and a nice bit of music. Right. Where I am now, I'm like in a right. giant fridge that's got out of hand, is fucking freezing. But this is an experience. This is things to do before you die. It's not like it's dangerous, is it? Well, it is dangerous because there's polar bears knocking about. You are not going to be eaten by a polar bear. But when you had your medical, I found out that you didn't let them test you for testicular cancer or test your prostate, did you? No. Where is this going? No, but that's... that's... Why not? In the UK alone... More people die every year from prostate cancer and testicular cancer than being savaged by a polar bear. It's a bit of a weird time to bring it up when I'm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> That's why it's I brought it up. It's one of the biggest killers, right? And that's just a simple test. So a doctor pops his finger up your anus and he goes, yep, you're all clear. And that's you relaxed for another year. I, I don't understand why you're suddenly caring about this now. <laughs> I've got little battery left on this phone. I'm wearing the battery out. If right. something happens, mm -hmm. I'm dead. Right. So don't be worrying about me testicles right. and me arse. <laughs> this doesn't happen on Bruce Parry. <laughs> I've got to go. I'll see you later. Yeah, I don't think too many men are comfortable with that. I, I'm over 40, and I should have had it done years ago. And I've been procrastinating at it. Um... Now, my doctor retired probably eight years ago, and I just got, supposedly just got a new doctor a few months ago, but I haven't even been in contact with him yet. Don't even know if I actually got the doctor. But I am in no real rush to run in and do any of these tests. Well, the prostate one anyways.
And I don't think many guys are. <laughs> it's just one of those tests we try to avoid at all costs if we can. It's probably why so many men die of prostate cancer. Yeah. Alright. See you later. See you later. See you. I'm never gonna see a whale. What's the point in this program being in HD? It's a waste of time being in colour. It's giving me a headache. Oh my god. I don't understand it. How can you have all this and the sun? What he thinks. Weird. Oh, no point in having this in HD worse. or colour. It blinds you. Yeah, it but does then again, blind you. If you live here and you go blind, you're not missing anything, are you? Now to look at anyway. You know, when I spoke to Ricky, he said, you know, don't be messing about making snowmen and all that. He said, get involved. You know, get some hands-on experience of what it's like living in that community. I'm Carl. I'm Rob. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Gonna have you come out with me and help me pick up some waste. And then I got the radio, they'll call me in if someone needs a bucket picked up or just any sort of rubbish. Just someone calls you. Sewage. You know, from the toilet. But I didn't realise part of, you know, getting my hands on something was getting my hands on already <laughs> shit. That's a lot, isn't it? Is that a day's worth? Uh, depends on the house. I'm gonna tilt and I'm gonna stand to the side. So right. if it splashes, I don't get hit. Honey buckets, oh, that's what they call them. Me. Which sort of sounds nice, doesn't it? It sounds like something that someone might call the, the boyfriend or whatever, or girlfriend, honey bucket. But then when you see it... So there you go. Fast. You don't want to get splashed. It's, it's coming out of the... There you go. Good job. Oh, God almighty. I, I, don't, yeah. I don't understand why I always got that name. You think they'd have a better system than dumping buckets in the side so you don't get splashed. Maybe a hose, a vacuum like they do with the porta potties would be the way to go with this shit. Um, this seems kind of nasty. It's just a big bucket mm -hmm. with bin bags of shit and piss in them. Yeah, that smells my money. That was a lot of shit mm. in that. It's heavy, isn't it? It can be. Sometimes they get filled to the rim. Apparently, not every house has them but there's still, like, a load of them now. I hope he gets paid good money. Let's just say he needs to get paid for this shit. I just have these honey buckets, which plastic buckets, you stick the proper toilet seat on them, and you can just have them anywhere in your house. The more I heard about it, I kind of thought, I quite like the idea of being at home, and no matter where, where you are in the house, you can have a shit. Because sometimes it is annoying when football's on or whatever, you have to wait till half time instead yeah. of just going, right. actually, just get the honey bucket, sit in front of the telly and do it. They don't need your sort of Sky Plus or anything here. Things to do before you die. Jesus Christ. Oh, next one, let's get this done as quick as we can. So I can't be doing with this. What's that load like? You think it's fine and then you disturb it. The smell wakes up. Oh, I don't do that again. People called him up. As we're driving along, his, his radio thing was going, going, quick, quick, get to number 188 or whatever. And it's like, Jesus, what, why, what's the emergency? Oh, I need a honey bucket. What's wrong with yours? When you get there, you realise a bucket's been here, it hasn't been picked up, it's frozen. Frozen! The shit's frozen? Frozen! When was it last picked up? The other day, they forgot to pick it up, they didn't pick it up. He seemed livid, but they've got nothing else to worry about. I mean, it's a weird, it's a weird worry, isn't it? That you've got a tub of shit you can't get rid of. But that's the only time I've seen an Eskimo animated here. Can I get a bucket? Yeah, you can have a bucket. You can have that. Thank you. It's all right. Remember to tip me at Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> oh. OK, stop messing about now in the Arctic. You've got some whales to see. I uh, thought it'd be fun if you did it by Husky. But only use them if they're treated well, if they want to pull you along. If not, walk, all right? Don't shower them, don't hit them. Make sure they're fed, make sure they're enjoying it. Don't make them do anything they don't want to do. Make sure their feet aren't sore. If they are, 
Get them little shoes or something. Alright. See you later, boy. Oh. Alright. How's it going? Hey. You must be Carl. Yeah, Carl. I'm Bill Carter. Bill. Nice, nice to meet you. This is your team over here. This is Woodrow. He's your leader. He's in charge. He's in charge. He's Wood Woodrow. Woodrow. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Hang, hang on. Hey. Sit. <laughs> this is Jesse. 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 Why is he so icy? Yeah. This one's Simon. Simon. Hi, right, Simon. Carl. <laughs> It's like when you're at a wedding and everyone's going, this is Frank, the cousin, and the, his, his, you know, stepfather. Of the, and you, you kind of go, oh, right, yeah, and you think, a second later, it's out of your mind. I stink. <laughs> you have to stand here and watch. You have to stand here and watch while I hook my dogs up. So they don't run away. He's good at done this. It's like going round to a friend who's got a baby and he makes me realise I don't want one. It's like this. <laughs> I sort of got on the back of it. No instructions, really. It was like, use the anchor to stop it, use the brake to slow it down, but that's not enough, is it? Okay. God, it's still pulling me. I've got my foot on the brake. Keep your feet, okay, we'll slow. Keep your foot on the brake. Right? Fucking hell, I'm gonna let go. Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, wow. Hold on. Hey, uh. <laughs> that does look like fun. Fucking hell, he's a hump! Well done! It reminded me of being in a supermarket when you jump on the trolley and do all that, and I'm pretty good at that. It's the same rush, you sort of know you're in no control whatsoever. <laughs> Slow down, you twat! What sort of lake is this? Easy, boys. Easy, boys! Fucking stop! Stop! When the dogs get old, <laughs> what do they do? And it's always sort of, you know, they just retire them. Now, I don't know if that means oh. someone goes into a dog's home and goes, can I have this dog? And they've got no idea and they chuck a ball and never see it again. I don't know how it works. Where's the five-foot snow today? They don't listen at all. Shouting the name, foot on the brake, that brake does nothing. We're on ice. A brake on ice does not work. It's just sliding along. Looks like you were doing all right there. Fuck it, fuck! Stop! You fucking shit! Stop! <laughs> fucking stop! He does not look happy at all. Oh, you see the look on his fucking face? No, they just retire them. Now, I don't know if that means someone goes into a dog's home and goes, can I have this dog? And they've got no idea and they chuck a ball and never see it again. I don't know how it works. Where's the five-foot snow today? They don't listen at all. Shouting the name, foot on the brake, that brake does nothing. We're on ice. A brake on ice does not work. It's just sliding along. Looks like you were doing all right there. Fucking oh, fuck! Stop! You fucking shit! Stop! Look at his face. He is fucking mad. Oh, it's probably the maddest I've seen Carl yet. Right there. Oh... Fucking stop! Where are we meant to be going? I thought you said this is a lake. It's a river. Well, what's all this here? It's open water, you're fine. Can we just stop a minute? Yeah. See, they don't listen, yeah. do they? Yeah. Seems to be getting rougher. They're not taking any notice. That brake doesn't work. The pad thing is a waste of time. My legs are killing me, my arm. Is he even gonna see a whale in this shit? It's going to be another dolphin swim all over again. Because we've only got like 10 minutes left and he hasn't even seen a fucking whale. And this fucking video is called whale watching. Arms are hurting. What? But I've never had a go on one. You're taking me through rivers and shit. What else is up there? Slow. Easy, boys. <sighs> How many hours are we doing? How many hours are we doing? How many hours? Fuck. I finally get some signal. Put the phone on. A couple of messages. I think, oh, that's nice. Sue's been missing me, thinking Suzanne might have been in touch. Or my mum and dad, or something like that. First message comes up, it's from Ricky. 
just asking me if the doctor's been round yet. I'm still going on about this thing about having a finger up the arse. It's not going <laughs> to happen. It is not going to happen, especially not on telly. I certainly don't want to have it done here. It's freezing weather, the doctor's hands will be cold. It's the last thing I want. I think I've got a temperature as it is. It's hard to tell because it's so cold. <laughs> Just reminding me, I don't know, if you ever seen Impractical Jokers? There's a guy named Murr on there. They did his prostate cancer on live TV. It did not look fun at all. You should check it out if you want to fucking have a good laugh. Oh. All right, mate, how's it going? Oh, well, I'm fine, mate, but where are you speaking to me from? Um, just in the middle of nowhere. I came all this way to see a whale. <laughs> you see that fucking swing set? Let's go back a second here. Here. Look at this fucking thing. Oh. The whole fucking swing set's buried. You can't do nothing with it. Just the top half's poking out. So I'm guessing these guys don't have... This must be like, uh... Like, they probably have snow around here all year round, obviously. But I'm thinking not as much. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm thinking this is more of the season for when they've got more snow. And then maybe less snow in the summer. And maybe they can use that, uh... Oh. Alright, mate. How's it going? Um, Swing set, um, I don't know. Just in the middle of nowhere. I came all this way to see a whale. I have I, all I, the only whales I've seen are dead ones on roundabouts. They seem to stick the bones everywhere. Right, I know you're supposed to be seeing a whale, but it seems mad when you're there to not, you know, stop and see some um, glaciers as well at the same time. But, but I've, I've, Steve, honestly, I've seen nothing but snow and ice since I've been here. I don't need to see any more. It's madness. Yeah are melting really rapidly. I mean, they're going at the rate of something like 500 metres a year. Some of them are melting 100 metres a day. Is it on the way to the whale thing? It's sort of on the way. You know, they're in the water, the whales are in the water. It's a water-related experience. All right. Enjoy it. I don't know Steve sort of making a big deal about it, like, before they've gone. I don't think they'll go. It's still freezing here. Global warming. Look at the amount of kit I've got on. My auntie Nora was worried about the ice melting. She just thought that meant all ice gone. She was thinking, what am I going to do, you know, with my whiskey and coke? It's like, no, no, it's just a mountain. She's like, oh, whatever. I mean, it looks good. I like, I like the way it looks. Good colour and everything. But I don't know oh, what, wow. what Steve wants me to get from this. He wants you to appreciate the damage the global warming's doing. Yeah, it's not me who wants to be told, it's Susan at home. She's into wasting energy. Air dryer, <laughs> doing her <laughs> hair all the time. I, I don't do that. I am energy efficient, because I'm bald. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm bald. He's energy efficient because he's fucking bald. Uh... Okay. Not wasting hot water, washing my hair. No air dryer. If she cared so much, shave her head. What are they doing messing about at the back? I've seen little boats being put in. Steve wanted you to get close. Swimming in glacier water. How close do I need to get? I don't... I, I, it's just getting silly. It's dicey, this. <sighs> proper... I'm in there, swimming about, and that goes off. Causes a wave. Dead. Dead. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> How's the water right? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Hey, Carl. Yeah? You're meant to be getting in the water. <sighs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty... He is not amused at all. <laughs> It would be a, a reason to get in. Have a look. There's nothing in here. What's this about? Hey? Floating about like a crisp packet. Oh, 
I've seen whales on the telly. Oh, yeah, guy. I wouldn't mind seeing one in real life before they die out. That's what I'm always hearing. They might not be around for much longer. I suppose you go out of your way to see it, don't you? It's like your grand, she's in hospital. You're going, oh, she's got a week left to live. You go out of your way. It's not always a great time to see them, because they're in a bit of a mood. But you sort of go out of your way, and that's what I'm doing. I'm going out of my way a bit here to see something before it dies. Hello? All right. How's it going? I'm just, uh, I'm just drained, to be honest. Well, listen, don't get ill. We need to have a proper medical. You know what I'm talking about. We need to make sure your prostate and your testicles are OK. Like I say, I haven't bumped into any doctors. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, that hasn't happened. But, uh, yeah. but yeah. Right. Well, uh... Well, you have to make sure they are real doctors. Because I made that mistake with Dr Fox. Never again. No, I didn't. Now, today, you're going to go and see what you actually came for in the first place. Whale watching. Um, I've sorted a boat for you. Now, it's not... Yeah. 35 minutes into the video. We're going to see a whale now, maybe. A tourist boat. You know, you're quite privileged again. You're not just being packed in with all the, the, the general punters. Um, it's a, a, a working fishing boat, and um, uh, my man Brian's going to look after you. So, once again, an absolute money-can't-buy experience for you, Carl Pilkington. And my pleasure. Enjoy, man. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. 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 Yeah, I'm not bothered about seeing lots. I just want to see a big one. I want something that makes me go, bloody hell. What is that doing there? You know, look at the size of that. That's what I want. I'm mm. into fish. I don't like eating them, but there's a lot of weird stuff in that ocean. There's one uh, lantern fish. It has a, has a light bulb on its head, like a, a thing, because it's so deep down in the dark. And there was a bloke who was into fish, he got one, had it in a fish tank, and he used it to read his book by at night. You never think of a fish as being handy. When Suzanne wants a fish, I always go, what's the point? They don't do anything. But I'd have one of them, because I get sick of leaving the light on and stuff. I'm forever going round turning switches off. Hey, Carl, time to uh, chop, chop, give the guys a hand. Grab them a pair of coveralls or something. Size large. Stinks. How long are you out for? Till just the night. Pretty clean on the inside, just the outside, it's got fish oil on it. Oh, fuck's sake. Things to do before you die, yeah? And here's the fun part. Watch that knife in your hand there. I don't want to. Someone ran over it. Well, I have never it... seen an octopus that looks like that. <laughs> Look at it. Is it inside out or what? What's that? It looks like it's a bum bag. Yeah, it has been turned inside out. So, chop, chop. Move your hands, baby. Move your yeah. hands. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Chop, chop. I wanted to see a whale. I didn't know I was doing this. I feel a bit sick already. Carl gets stuck doing some of the shittiest shit on these fucking trips. It's like... The fuck the point even going? All you're doing is making him work. I tell you what, he's pacing about out there like a madman. Chop, chop! Okay, get these guys all good and smashed up. Time to make hay, gentlemen. Just gotta get some air. We can't do this. He said we're out all night. There's no way I can do this all night. It's really bobbing up and down now. I don't know who to be angry at. That, him up there, or Ricky, or what? Yeah. I feel like fucking death here. Fucking get out of me if you want to be sick. Received 6.20 a.m. Listen, I'm stuck here like a I've got a boat. It's going dark. I've been on it for Christ knows how fucking long. He's doing me fucking dead in. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm here with a boat over me and fishermen's friends. And I'm fucking still... See you later. Is it better inside or out? Job, job, I don't want to be a fisherman. I never said I wanted to do anything like this. It's not worth it. All this pissing about for a fish. Zach Afron. Zach Afron. <laughs> King Kong.
Some people follow this. What's wrong with this? Why is there no picture but the sound on? Does this tally even work? It's driving me insane. What's going on, man? Can you put the tally on, for me, please? Up? Can you put the tally on, for me, please? Put the Let's tally on, man. I don't want to do fish. We never see that with ranking on in the galley. I'm not cutting any more fish. Get your ranking out and no, no. Take it out, man. Oh, I don't know. That's too bad, man. I didn't want to. I didn't come to cut fish. On the galley. She fucking King Kong, eh? <laughs> Poor Carl. It's insane. It's the longest intro. Oh, come on. Oh. I don't know why can't I just be sick? Oh. What? Oh. What? What? There's some whales. Seriously? Yeah, there's some whales in there. Where are whales? Well, I can't climb up there. Get into the... Oh, Why not, bud? Where? I've got to lie down. I'm better when I'm lying down. There, there, up ahead. See that? See the air coming out? You're not going to see them from down there, Carl. Really not I don't think Carl cares at this point. He just Tell wants to fucking right, go Thomas. home. Oh, there's a fin. There's a fin thing. It is a tail and all. Um, I hope you enjoyed the whales. Amazing. Um, I just wanted to put your mind at rest. Um, I know you missed that prostate exam, but do not worry. I've arranged for you to have one as soon as you get back in England. So, um, yeah, relax. All right, boy. See you later. Manazzle. What a fucking asshole that Ricky is. Puts him on that fucking boat. Fucking makes him sicker than a fucking dog. And then sends him a note about how he's gonna take a finger up the ass as soon as he gets home. He's like, now you in a big rush to get home? No. Oh, man. I forgot how fucking funny Carl is. That was a good episode. I thought it was a good episode anyways. Um. Yeah. He puts fucking Carl through fucking hell, doesn't he? What? But. Yeah, I can't believe they make him do all that work. Like, so he's supposed to be going, like, making them all this money with this TV show. And what is he stuck doing? Fucking picking up human shit. Fucking getting dragged down a fucking frozen river by dogs that he can't control. And then gets stuck going out on a fucking boat and has to cut up fucking, uh, squid. Until the point of, like, where he's so sick that he can't, can't even sit up to watch the whales when they finally do come. I felt pretty bad for Carl right there. I was starting to feel a little motion sickness just watching him like that. It was just, wah. I feel for him. But anyhow, I want to thank you for watching this video. And uh, if you want to click like, subscribe, comment. 
feel free. Won't charge you a cent. And uh, I hope you come back and check out some more videos or some of my old videos or whatever. Anyhow, have yourselves a great day. Okay, bye for now.